Hey everybody, today we will use Smart Control Live, our new software, to switch profiles in game. We will drive a low powered car and then we will switch to a very difficult to drive high powered car. And we will load in profiles that match these cars and make it easier to drive these cars. So let's get right to it. The first step is to go into Smart Control and make the profiles. So for a Formula Ford, which I want to drive, I want to go with a light brake pedal. 45 kilos is, uh, is about enough. Formula Ford, we don't have a lot of engine power, so we can make the throttle a bit more sensitive. I think that will help me a little bit. I'm going with this default sensitivity plus two. So 45 kilos, throttle adjusted. Excellent. We go to the three dots here. Current profile, we want to save the profile. We name it Formula Ford, something like that. Save. All right. And now I want to make a profile for a V8 supercar. 600 horsepower. You're in a whole world of trouble if you mess it up. So we need a different, a different profile for this car. Back to the pedal settings. I want the brake to be heavier. I think 90 kilos is my optimum today. This throttle sensitivity for the Formula Ford does not work in this car. It's going to be very difficult. So instead of plus two, we go with a minus two. You can make your custom curve, of course, but I think this minus two curve is pretty good. So with this done, we go back to the profile and save the current profile as, well, let's call it super and save. So now we've made the profiles. It's time to go into Smart Control Live and set everything up so we can switch in-game. Smart Control Live, our new software, it's quite useful, currently very empty. So let's make a profile. I'm going to give it a name. Test profile, that doesn't matter for now. Of course, you can name things the way you like them. What shortcut do I want to load this profile? Well, let's make it shift one, save, right. Now we have a profile, but there's nothing in the profile yet. So that's not very useful. We want to assign those profiles we made in smart control, uh, the regular smart control, apply them in smart control live. We do that by clicking the newly made test program. And I want to use my wheel buttons to assign the profile switching. You can do a keyboard, a gamepad, button box, whatever you want. In this case, I need to add a device. I need to add my wheel, which is the Simucube Pro. Excellent. And now here we have the Simucube Pro and I want to assign a function, uh, set profile. And I want to assign the Formula Ford profile here. Next step. I'm going to press this green, I think that's a good color, green button, which is button 30 on this wheel, save. And I want to do a, another function, again, set profile, but now the super car profile and the opposing green button. I like green buttons. And we save that. You can do many more things with this, but this is a good thing to try in the game right now. So having made our profiles in Smart Control Live, there's one thing you want to check with the settings that your audio notifications, if you want them, go to the correct audio output device. In my case, it's the top one here. And if you press one of those buttons, you should hear a voice. Profile for set. A little difficulty pronouncing Formula Ford. The pronunciation, she doesn't know that, but that's fine. And Profile super set. So we have the audio notifications going to, to the correct audio device now. So we are in our Formula Ford car. And we press the button. Profile for set. The profile for the Formula Ford is now applied. I can check my brake pedal. It is really light. I can have, have some fun in the sim. And drive with the more sensitive throttle pedal, which we can also verify with the bar. It, yeah, it's really sensitive. And a light brake pedal. So, well, I think we have to turn off the camera. I'll spend the next hour having some fun in the simulator. Oh, locked up. Oops. Whoa. Oh, this is uh, obviously not a driver skill issue, but we forgot to switch the profile. Profile super set. Now we have the supercar profile with less sensitive throttle and a stiffer brake pedal. And hopefully I am in better control of this car now. Having to brake much harder before it locks up. And the throttle is much more gradual.
Yeah, this is much better. So it's so convenient not having to alt tab or go out of the game to change those profiles. I've assigned them to buttons on my wheel. You can do use your keyboard or a button box. Don't leave the game, just switch to profiles and enjoy the car with the optimal settings. So while you cannot buy driving skill, sadly, uh, with Smart Control Live, switching profiles while you're in-game and many, many other options you uh, have available. So do play around with it. Let us know what sort of things you make it do. But I hope these were some nice examples to show you some of the benefits of our new Smart Control Live software.